In my previous video on the northern constellations Orion, I set out to teach people in the northern hemisphere how to find the major constellations by recognizing the patterns created by the stars. In this video, I will continue that effort using Orion as a guide to other major constellations. By drawing imaginary lines in the sky through certain stars in Orion, it is possible to find other constellations. Using the three belt stars of Orion, you can find the constellation Canis Major, the great hunting dog who follows Orion through the night sky. Imagine drawing a line from right to left through these stars, continuing past the constellation. By doing so, you will find Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. It is unmistakable, far brighter than any of the stars in Orion. The star has a blue-white color and will often twinkle vividly. Sirius is a binary system consisting of one main sequence star and one white dwarf. The main sequence star is slightly over two times the mass of our own star, the Sun, and is a type A1V. The A indicates color. A-class stars are white to bluish white stars, while the V indicates luminosity. V-class luminosity indicates that the star is in the main sequence, the time period of a star's life where it is in the active hydrogen fusing phase. Sirius, along with Procyon and Betelgeuse, also make an asterism called the Winter Triangle. An asterism is a familiar shape that is not considered an official constellation. There aren't many deep sky objects in Canis Major that can be seen with small telescopes, as the band of the Milky Way goes through the constellation. One of the few deep sky objects that can be seen is Messier 41, an open cluster of stars that is notable for having a large number of K-class stars. It is approximately 2350 light years from Earth. There are other objects in the constellation that can be seen with large or space-based telescopes like the Hubble. One of these is the enormous star VY Canis Majoris. There are two estimates on the size of this star and both are truly staggering. The lower estimate would place the star's radius at around 600 solar radii, which would extend roughly to the orbit of Mars. The other estimate is much higher at around 1800 to 2100 solar radii. If the star is truly this large, it would extend beyond the orbit of Saturn. The star is in a highly evolved state, and during its life on the main sequence, it would have been an O-class star of between roughly 30 and 40 solar masses. The star is so highly evolved that it has periodic outbursts where it ejects a huge amount of gas and it will most likely explode as a supernova, perhaps even a hypernova, at some point in the relatively near future. Being 4,500 light years away, it may have even already exploded, and the light simply hasn't reached us yet. When it has completely exhausted its hydrogen, it will experience a phenomena known as core collapse. As iron begins to build up in the star's core, it will experience an implosion, as iron is dense and cannot produce any usable fuel to sustain a star. The core of the star becomes basically inert, and when the core has accumulated enough iron, it begins to rapidly heat up, which causes an implosion. The implosion generates a shock wave, which ejects the outer layers of the star. VY Canis Majoris will leave behind either a rapidly spinning neutron star or perhaps even a black hole. It is highly unlikely that the explosion will cause any harm to the Earth, being so far away. It will be an exceedingly interesting astronomical event, though. Another fascinating object is a pair of interacting galaxies, NGC 2207 and IC 2163. These two beautiful spiral galaxies are in an early stage of merging and the interaction between them is beginning to warp the spiral shape of each galaxy. The galactic tug of war will likely go on for around a billion years before the two galaxies have completely merged 
to form a single large elliptical galaxy. There is also a small galaxy that was discovered through the use of infrared astronomy, the Canis Major Dwarf, which is the closest satellite galaxy to the Milky Way. It is about 25,000 light years away and was discovered in 2003. The galaxy is being pulled apart by gravitational interaction with the Milky Way and consists of a long filament of stars that circles our galaxy, which you can see in this illustration. So the next time you go out at night during the winter, take a look up and enjoy the beauty and complexity that is the constellation Canis Major.